Hi everyone, I'm James. In honor of Spooky Season and Halloween and Jamie Lee Curtis, we will be throwing it back to 1998 for the first Hallow second Halloween timeline shift. I think the first one was Halloween 3, which is not really a timeline shift, but like, you know, part 3 confused me a lot back when I was a kid. Like, my brain could not comprehend what, why there was no Michael Myers. Like, it makes sense now, but it, it didn't make sense back then. And then 4, 5, 6 was the Thorn trilogy. Are you following? And then they were like, okay, let's undo all that. Jamie Lee Curtis was like, cool, I'll do it. So in 1998, we got Halloween, H2O, 20 years later, blood is thicker than water. I don't have an H2O shirt, so like you get this, you get this stack, this Halloween collection shirt. I'm sorry. So I'll be reacting to the original trailer for that movie. This was like the 20 years later movie. This was also the beginning of well, for me at least, like the internet being involved in the behind the scenes of the movie. Like I remember anyone's house I went over, I would like use the dial-up internet. And then I would be looking for like the behind the scenes photos and interviews. Like, oh, am I, I'm dating myself, but I feel like there was like a Yahoo, Yahoo movies or, I know there was like upcomingmovies.com or like upcoming horror movies doc like please like i'm not the only one that used to check this daily right and like it would be like there's a coming soon section that would have like random sequels that like oh, i wish that was still up They're like you know we're not coming so this was the first movie that was new in the series that i could be excited for whatever nostalgia so this is my throwback trailer reaction and mini review of Halloween H2O 20 years later. It's 1998 in a remote California bum, bum, town bum. at a secluded private school. We could have a Halloween party just before us. Have Dramatic. A orgy. I love the way this man thinks. No booze, no drugs, no kidding. The sound is off on me. One teacher I, is uh, living in fear. I'm not who you think I am. The anticipation. Terrible. Take off your clothes. My brother killed my sister. Piece of crap. How'd he do that? With a really big kitchen knife. That's enough. I can't take it, Mom. The original hey. music. It's been 20 years. Oh, and you know he's there. You know he's coming. I love this. Don't you think he would have shown up oh, by now? Oh, the part two. That's good. This is so 90s. No. But I love that they use a lot of the original music. Now, Come on! the face of good and the face of evil will meet one last time. But this time, it's going to be a fight to the finish. This summer, Terror won't be taking a vacation. Ah. Halloween H20. Each Halloween, I guess everyone is entitled to one good scare. I've had my share. That is a that's a good trailer. Like, I don't know if it's just me because I, I do love H2O. It's like the movie we needed. I don't know, it's the movie I needed, I guess. I'll get into the mini review in a second. But like that trailer, even though it has a lot of the movie in it, it's it's edited and spliced in such a way that it just builds the anticipation. You know it's Halloween, you know they're in this secluded school. It's a secluded California private school, like whatever, like, okay. But they set it up and then they set up that she changed it. Like they, it built perfectly and it was fast paced. So like me being like, oh my gosh, I love Halloween. Like it's coming back, this is great. I can watch it with like nostalgic eyes and be like, oh, this is so great. But also like the 15 year old me or like the demographic they were going for back then was like, this looks so cool. It had LL Cool J in it. It had Michelle Williams, which anyone that watched Dawson's Creek was like, oh my gosh. And then the fans would be like, it has Jamie Lee Curtis. So. 
as a trailer, yes. Ch check. Or it's backwards. Check. Like, marketing. Home run. Now, I'll do a mini review of this movie because I feel like I could just... Uh, I could just talk. I could just go on and on. Like, I could just... Too much. Just too much talking. Is it particularly scary? No. Is it well directed? Not really. Yes, okay. For the movie it was trying to be, which was like a scream ripoff, yeah, it was directed very well for that. For a scary movie, or a Halloween movie, or something trying to be original, like no, no, and no. But because they were trying to be a scream ripoff, pretty much, they succeeded in that. The chase scenes are very exciting, there are a couple suspenseful moments, some of the cinematography is actually very good. My back hurts. Ow. The acting from most of the cast is fine, like it's good. There are some moments that don't exactly land, and I, it, it's a little awkward, but it doesn't like completely ruin the film, and it doesn't make me hate any of the characters. Like even though the couple that's like oversexed, but literally never does it, and seems like they probably never have actually done it, they were a little cringy, but I still liked them and was like, aw, oh, when, you know, bad things happen. Josh Hartnett, great. Michelle Williams, great. Jamie Lee Curtis, great most of the time. I did love her whole, like, you know, storyline of the, the trauma. Get it. Her, like, traumatic recovery, and she's a functioning alcoholic, as her son says. So her story was very interesting. Any shortcomings the film has, are, it makes up for that with her story and progression throughout the film, and covering up all of her, her her emotions in the beginning until, you know, she just goes full on, like, I'm gonna go look for Michael. Like, there isn't even a moment like that in the new Halloween, the Halloween 2018. Like, there's not even a, a moment like that. She's still just waiting for him. In this one, she's like, my god, and she goes to find him. So, as a, as a reboot to the series, to the Halloween franchise, great. Bring back the original character, Let's just not talk about the fact that that trailer lied and said it's a fight to the finish. Let's not talk about the film that followed this. Let's not talk about it, I said. But that's it. Oh, gosh, that has me, like, excited. Like, I want to watch... Maybe I'll watch that tonight. That trailer made me want to watch that movie again. That's a good trailer. Man. That means it's a good trailer. What do you think of the trailer for Halloween H2O, the original trailer that we just watched from 1998? What do you think of the movie... What do you think of the Halloween franchise? Do you prefer the 2018 film? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I love comments. I want to talk about Halloween H2O in the comments, please. And then also let me know what other trailers I should throw back to. Put that in the comments because I do like watching old trailers and kind of getting re excited about the movies again. Well, thank you. That's it. That's all. I'm going to go have a, um, two glasses of Chardonnay now. Today.